There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Melissa Service Pack 7 is now controlling transmission. Uh oh. Hello, YouTube. I have a package. I'm trying to get in position here that I just got. And I ordered this. Um, my dad said I had $50 to spend to get presents for my birthday on eBay. And this is one of the things that I ordered. This is something from the 90s that I used to use a lot. So let's take a look. Who remembers kissing coolers? I you, literally used this every day when I was in 10th grade. I was about 15 years old, 14 or 15, and I was obsessed with kissing coolers. This is one of my favorite flavors. It's watermelon, and it's unused. Unfortunately, it didn't come in the package, but that's what it looks like. It smells like watermelon mixed with a really bad smell. <laughs> so, um, whew, I can smell it now. Um, so it's definitely off. I'm not, probably not sh gonna put some on, but I may, but not today because I look like crap and I don't want you to see me. Okay, so. That's going to go inside my vintage caboodle later. So let's put this away because I have another package to show you that I got in the mail. All right. So the next package I got, I don't know if you can see this label because I had to rip off my address, but it says caboodles. I, oh, here's a better look. I ordered this from the caboodles website and it's not a caboodle, I will tell you that much. This is something really, really awesome that I saw on their website. And once I open it, I'll tell you how to get it. Okay. Oh my God. Look at the numbers. Six, seven, seven, three, seven. Seven, you know that's my favorite number if you know me. Okay. And you can start. It really irritates me when people call sweatshirts sweaters. It's oh, that's Lord, ridiculous. Sweater. It's a freaking sweatshirt. And I, this is what I, oh my God, it's beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at that. They have an 80s or possibly 90s. That's huge. I don't know. Shh. And um, 80s or 90s caboodle on the front and it's on them. This is a medium. I'm gonna have to wear another shirt under this. Urgh! But we could do the, you know, 80s look where you wear a tank top with it, you know? So when I'm looking back, here's an up close look at the Kabuto sweatshirt. It's beautiful. I just wish this was a prettier shade of purple, like, well, I guess uh, like this for more, but whatever. It's, it's good, I like it. It looks very 80s and I'm happy. So, there you go. I wanted to give the eBay seller good feedback on the kissing cooler. And if you want to order some vintage um, makeup or anything, this is the seller, Cassie Cosmetics, located in Hicksville, New York. You can check her out on eBay. Just search for Cassie Cosmetics. But keep in mind that these are vintage. They may not work as good and they may not smell too good. Okay, I don't recommend trying to use these either, all right? So if you buy it and you put some on and you get some like nasty rash and your lips fall off, that's not my fault because I told you I don't recommend doing it. And if I do it, that doesn't mean you should do it either, okay? All right, bye-bye. To -bye. say that the seller included this Christmas themed nail file for me and with my kissing cooler, and this is vintage. It is from... 1998 so that was pretty nice of her to throw that little extra gift in there um would have been cool if it was from the 80s but hey <laughs> it's the thought that counts right and that's gonna go right into my caboodle i'll probably never even gonna use this because i like small emery boards when i file my nails but you never know i may use it who knows so anyway, thank you, Cassie Cosmetics, for the extra nail file. A very monumental occasion. I'm going to put the 90s kissing cooler into my vintage caboodle. 
Um, I don't know if this is an 80s caboodle or a 90s caboodle. I'm thinking it's 80s because the 90s caboodles had a different class, I'm pretty sure. So, here we go. And later on, I'm going to show you everything that's in the caboodle. But are already some things in there, but we'll go over those things later. Oops. So, there it is. In its final resting place. Oh, which beta that we want. And I like him. But I also like this one up here. He's swimming around going crazy like, Get me! Get me! <laughs> the white one, the blue one, this one. Which one you want? I don't know. Deciding between him and this one. But I think I really, really like this guy because he, he's interacting with me and he was following my finger before. So this guy's really cool looking. Where'd he go? And I can't see his face now. Hey, come there. Yes, look at those pretty colors. I don't know. I really am leaning towards him because he seems to like want to come home with me. He just seems like, I don't know, he just does. This is in his tank. Hi, boys. Hi. Okay. And Shirley and Carmine are in the back somewhere. Right now, I want to film Buzz for a little bit. That's a good shot of him. Okay. Hey, Buzz. Hello. And then you can see Shirley right there with the red fins. And let me see if we can find Carmine. There's Carmine right there. And here comes Buzz. Hello. Buzz is a beta. Carmine's a red eye tetra. And Shirley is a red fin tetra. I don't know where Shirley went. I've just seen her a few seconds ago. Oh, Let's see if we can go in there. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Mad and happy at the same time. I put in Taco Bell on my GPS and recording. And look what this is. This is no longer a Taco Bell. It's a Filipino cuisine place. But looking at the structure of this place, this was definitely like a 70s or even 80s Listen, we're not gonna Taco order. Bell. Check we're this not out. To order. What do you mean we're not going? Taco Bell now, Filipino place. I, I asked the guy in there and if it wasn't Taco Bell and he said yes. So <laughs> that's why the GPS was saying Taco Bell. This is my absolute favorite place in the whole world. You probably know what it is because I've taken you here many times. And uh, yeah, Ritter's Pond. So we're going to take a look in the little free library at Ritter's Pond. Let's see if they have any good books in here. This looks like something they would have read on Reading Rainbow. I don't know why, but it just does. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing anything that stands out at me. No. Darn, darn, darn. I was hoping I would find something. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you for a walk around the whole park and I'm gonna do it in 
what do you call it? What is that? Fast motion, time lapse. There we go. But first, I just want to show you the geese. <laughs> um, because when I was a kid, my grandparents used to take me here and my father and we would feed the geese and the ducks. So let's just get a film, a quick shot of the geese. Hi. 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 Hello. What are you guys doing? Oh my God, they're coming over. Hi. Hello. Hi guys. How you doing? <laughs> Hi! Oh, they're all coming over! Yes! Hello! I love animals. <laughs> okay, so I bet they're wonderful. Look at this. You know, people throw. People are just really stupid. Look at this. They throw garbage in here. Now the poor geese are probably going to try to eat that. This is, you know, what is wrong with people? Look at this. This is disgusting. <sighs> Lazy people. See, there's a trash can right over there. Oh, they're hungry. I'm sorry, I don't have any bread for you guys. Next time I'm going to bring some bread. We're not supposed to feed them, but I am kind of like... You know, I don't think it's going to do that much harm, but anyway, let's get into that time lapse video. So I'm doing this, this word search and this is really screwed up because the ones that I put question marks by, I found them in the puzzle, but they're not spelled right. And it's almost like it's either a mistake or they deliberately did it to trick you. But I've gone through the whole puzzle. We'll start with Carrie. And the only hint of a Carrie is this one, C-A-R-I-E. And Rosemary's Baby, we have R-A-O-S-E, M-A-R-Y-S-A-B-Y. I'm filming. Then we look at Halloween. Halloween ain't spelled right. There's one L. And it's the only Halloween in there. Then we look over here. Gremlins. We come over here. The only gremlins in this puzzle is G-R-E-M-L-I-N. Okay? That's one two three four things that i cannot find in here spelled properly so is it a mistake is it a trick am i just missing it so i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna like just focus on this and then you can pause it and you can look in here and see if you can find these words and tell me if i'm just dumb let me know what you can find. Scratch that. You know what? It is a mistake. I just found on the bottom, they give you the answers. And if you look, Carrie is spelled with two R's and it's in the exact same spot I found it in. And there is Rosemary's Baby, which is spelled properly. Halloween is next to it. And there's Gremlins with an S and again then you should have had I'm sorry you should have left is right next to it so let's go back to the original puzzle gremlins you should have left Carrie Halloween Rosemary's baby yes it is these are typos wow that's pretty cool hey, what's up everybody um I think I'm coming in blurry not sure but um, it's dark. What is that spot on my <coughs> ceiling? Is it just a shadow? Okay, it's a shadow. Um, I wanted to talk about something, an addiction that I have. And yes, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I had to rush to get out of the house and I just didn't have time to put makeup on and so yeah. But anyway, I'm waiting for somebody to come out um, of doctor 
and there just happens to be a 99 cents and up store across the street from the doctor and i don't know about you but when this girl sees a 99 cent store i just lose all self-control all sense of reality i'm on a totally different planet and because they just have some of the most amazing things in a 99 cent store. I mean, you could get some really cute jewelry in there and they got some cute masks um, and, and things like that. But anyway, um, I got some crafting supplies. That's what I've like, I've been on this kick. I've been getting some really great crafting supplies from the dollar stores. Dollar Tree, but the best um, crafts tend to be in the 99 cents and up stores. I don't know how to make this any clearer, I'm sorry. But I found these heart shaped beads and I've never seen these in a craft store before. And I'm gonna probably make some mask chains with these, I don't know. But I really like them because they're big and you can see the letters on them. And I also got some of these again. These are great for making statement mask chains. Something came up on my screen and I just missed it. Probably a test. Um, and I got, wait, that was it. I just bought several bags of that same type of bead to work with. But yeah, I, I went in there and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> man, <laughs> I don't know. About you but I just I I love dollar stores and the thing is I paid a dollar 29 every all the crafting stuff was like a dollar 29 for this little bag of letters and that's not bad at all okay so it's 29 cents higher than buying it at Dollar Tree so what um and I don't really care I'm not one of those people that refuse to buy things because they're from China or some other weird country. I don't care. I am not rich. So I cannot afford to be picky about where I'm buying my stuff from, okay? If the price is right, I'm gonna buy it no matter what, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna show you some really um, cute things that I've already made with some of those beads and now I can make more things because now I got more beads. Cause like the last dollar store I went to that had those beads, um, I went back and they were totally sold out. But this one had a ton of them, so I stocked up. Yes, I did. I did get some jewelry, oh my God. Yeah, I forgot. It's right here. I don't know if you can see those, but they're resin and they're, they have little um, things inside the resin. I don't know if you can make that out. I like the heart-shaped ones the best. They're just simple kind of earrings and um, they'll go with a lot of things that I have. So yeah, $1.29 for all those earrings, you can't go wrong. And Dollar Tree never really sells much um, for jewelry. I think I've, if you're lucky, you'll find some bracelets and that's about it, you know? But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to throw this little conversation in here about dollar stores. All right, everybody, see ya. I need to get some boxes from the dumpster at Dollar Tree. And we have a couch, some tires. <laughs> this is great. And this thing, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but this is weird. It's like, it's got... <laughs>